Americans are not winning their battle against obesity. Reports show the U.S. obesity epidemic is only getting worse. It's impossible to feel good about yourself when you're doing something that's self-destructive. Five foot five, 280 pounds, Tess is proud of every curve. I absolutely have a fat body and I, I love myself. I don't want to be that person that doesn't take care of themselves. I was never that person and now I become that person. Wait, I feel so nervous filming this video. Hey YouTube, today I'm talking about something a little bit different for my channel and that is the topic of fat acceptance. Fat acceptance is the idea that it's okay to be fat and I kind of have a problem with that. The purpose of me making this video is not to talk down to people who are obese or overweight or to make them feel bad about themselves. What I do want is a frank and honest discussion about what it means to be fat. Disclaimers aside, let's get into the video. The World Health Organization has said that carrying extra fat leads to serious health consequences such as cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and even some cancers. With all that information that we have, I don't understand why we have movement like the health at every size movement. The health at every size approach has been documented to work. Fat is not dangerous. You can't actually tell someone's health by looking at them. Because that is just not true. You cannot be obese and healthy. Health at every size is a lie. If you're overweight and you genuinely do like your body, that's also okay. But I think you do need to be honest about the health consequences. I actually had the opportunity to speak with an individual. His name is Alex. He has a YouTube channel. It's called Lean or Not. Go check him out and subscribe to him. Alex is really interesting because he gained weight on purpose. I used to be really skinny and I hated myself and I put on weight on purpose. Not necessarily to get more muscular. Some people, you know, they just want to be bigger. One thing I don't like is the health at every size movement. What health at every size seeks to promote is yeah. just it's not the size that determines your health. It's the health that determines your health. I think gain weight on purpose. I am no in no place to go around judging anyone. Promoting fat acceptance is kind of this gray zone to me where you're making this personal choice to be fat. However, if you're influencing other people to make those same decisions, you're starting to actual harm other people and harm society in general. I have seen this comparison several times comparing eating unhealthy food to smoking. Lifestyle choices. Honestly, they can both be considered an addiction to a certain extent. Some are lifestyle choices and some are addictions. And yeah. there are also people who make a conscious choice yeah. to live a certain lifestyle and that's to be respected as well. There's kind of like a fine line between personal freedom and influencing other people because I think people should be allowed to have the bodies that they want to have. The problem is when we've created a culture of fat acceptance where we have a society where we think it's okay to eat lots of fast food to become very overweight and very unhealthy. I'm all about personal freedom where you can do almost anything you want as long as it's not hurting other people. Even if it is unhealthy, ultimately, your health is no one's business but your own. And yes, people can care and love you and whatnot, but ultimately we choose how we want to live life and how long we want to live life. If someone chooses to smoke, for example, yeah. or to gain weight, or to be 600 pounds, yeah. Ultimately, it's up to them what they want to do. If that, you know, shortens their life and they're okay with that and they're conscious of that, so be it. She is causing her life to be shorter. She has taken the risk of dying early. When Tammy told me she was doing it on purpose, I got very upset and scared. I want her to be able to be here for a long time. What I really don't like about the fat acceptance and body positivity movement is the dishonesty that I see from some of the individuals within that sphere. Diet culture is inherently not body positive. A lot of them talk about you can be healthy at any size. I'm fat, but I eat healthy. And I I don't buy it. What I would like to see replace the fat acceptance movement is an honest discussion about health and insecurities. I hope maybe this video allowed you to rethink body positivity and fat acceptance. This is the kind of video where I would really want to hear what you guys have to say. Even if you completely disagree with me, I really want to hear it. With that being said, I hope I don't lose much of subscribers over this, but if I do, then so be it, and have a great day, guys. Bye.